Hi folks, it's good to be with you. My website's jasonbirdspreacher.com and you've got me on Twitter and Facebook. You can get me on uh, YouTube and uh, you can get Royal Blood Ministries on YouTube, on Twitter and Facebook too. It's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. I just want to talk about being sound in theology and contending for the faith. Um, in the book of Jude it says, earnestly contend for the faith. And it's so important that we're sound in our theology. It's so important that we stand for biblical truth. And it concerns me that all across the board today, evangelicals are losing their grip on sound biblical theology. And the wheels of evangelicalism are spinning off because evangelicals are not grounded in the word of God. For example, modern evangelicals are, are toning down the doctrine of hell the doctrine that Christ took the wrath for our sin. Modern evangelicals are, are watering down the gospel, becoming more worldly in the presentation of the gospel. Uh, you've got uh, uh, lots of acad uh, uh, academic theologians, and I could talk like this because I, I've, I've studied at MA level in, in uh, two seminaries, so I've learned like the modern theology speak sort of thing, so I know where they're coming from. But there's a lot of academics in theological seminaries that have imbibed new ideas that are not biblical and they're pumping it out to their students and their students become ministers. And the ministers go into the theological seminary, uh, into their churches and they pump out these new ideas about scripture. For example, that you can have faults in scripture, you can have historical mistakes in scripture, and which are completely unbiblical, that the message is important, not the words. The, this is a academic speak that pastors have taken on, Christians have taken on, and it's dangerous teaching. It's every word of God's been inspired, not just the message. It's really important. So there are all these ideas. Uh, pe people are imbibing the idea of uh, an old earth rather than a young earth, which goes against Romans 5. Um, people are imbibing uh, new ideas on ethics, uh, taking on board uh, the gay rights movement uh, agenda, the feminist agenda, etc. And all across the board, Evangelicals are collapsing and not standing on the Word of God. And the result is we're getting apologists going into the apologetics ministry and they're not fully equipped to deal with the... They're not fully equipped because they're not fully biblical. And we, we have top apologists uh, who are just not... Like, for example, uh, Gary Habermas, William Wayne Craig, uh, Mike Lacona. I love these guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not attacking them as people or the ministries, but they believe in an older theory, and, you know, that that's just dangerous to believe that. It's unscriptural, and uh, it's dangerous theologically. Uh, people on textual criticism, James White takes the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus view. He doesn't understand how the theories behind those books by Westcott and Hall are rationalistic. He doesn't understand the importance of Dean Bergen and the defence of the majority text. Uh, and so he can say in debates, such as Jay Smith as well, who I love, that uh, the last ending of Mark shouldn't be in, in, in the Bible. When you don't have to concede that if you defend the majority text or the King James Version, uh, and the, the, behind uh, the Texas Receptors behind the King James Version. But because all, all these people think they're superior intellectually and they've, they've, they're hobnobbing with academics, they take on these views, and then the, the more uh, popular apologist on the ground... Uh, take on these views and they think it's okay because academically everybody else is accepting it. So the result is, is Christians are intimidated to stand up for the true faith, for the for the young earth theory, uh, for the young earth uh, view, for the uh, inerrancy, uh, for the atonement, penal substitution, uh, for biblical ethics, purity that we it's by uh, that gay lifestyle is not biblical, uh, and so. People are being intimidated not to stand up for biblical truth. And uh, it says earnestly contend for the faith. And it's so important if you're doing street preaching, if you're doing evangelism, if you're going into the pastorate, to be biblical and sound in your theology. Uh, like Jonathan Edwards, uh, Charles Spurgeon, Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones. These are the guys that I, I, I look up to. These are the guys that I read. These are the guys that influence me. And I'll never, ever, ever, ever turn away to these modern theories and modern ideas because if you do, once you do once you take on these views, once you take on the idea of an older theory it's only the next step that you take on something else that's not biblical and generations down the line the church becomes more secular 
So you're not doing the church any favours. You need to stand on what the Bible says, uh, and and uh, we'll find the evidence, we'll find the arguments to be able to stand uh, for those truths, uh, if only you be faithful. So I'm going to recommend some books and things to read. Anyhow, King James Bible. Get a King James. Modern Bible translations are being changed, becoming more uh, pro-gay, pro-feminist. Get your a King James Bible. Start reading the Puritans. The Puritans are solid. They will keep you strong in the faith. Thomas Watson, um, uh, Thomas Brooks. Get hold of the Puritans. The Puritans by Banner of Truth. They'll keep you solid in the faith, honestly. Whatever your view is, they'll keep you solid. The Puritans were, were biblical people. So John Owen, John Bunyan, Thomas Brooks, uh, Thomas Watson. There's so many of these Puritan writers. Go to the Banner of Truth. They will keep you strong in the faith, my friend. J.C. Ryle, great guy. Get all of J.C. Ryle's works. They will keep you strong in the faith, my friend. Um, on ministry, if you're going into the faith, into the ministry, you need to read this book, Brothers, We Are Not Professionals. Anything of uh, John Piper on the ministry is worth its weight in gold. Uh, Brothers, We Are Not Professionals. Get hold of this book uh, by John Piper and it will bless you. Um, read theology you need to read theology get hold of uh, Lewis Burkhoff Systematic Theology by Banner of Truth it will really help you in your pastorate ministry in your preaching in your apologetics uh, and uh, and street preaching and, and evangelism just get hold of this book read it, study it it, 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 it will help you it will, it will bless you uh, this book uh, Grace Transforming by Philip Ryken, IVP, is a good book on the gospel to get grounded in the gospel if you're just starting in evangelism or preaching or in the Christian life. Uh, Grace Transforming by Philip Ryken, IVP, IVP, get hold of that book. A couple of apologetics, I don't agree with everything Dickinson, he, he's a old earth view guy, but his work on uh, biblical studies on the Gnostic Gospels is really helpful. Get hold of this DV. It's called The Christ Files by Zondran. Uh, uh, John Dickinson, it will help you in your defense of the Bible. It's really good material there. It's a DVD. Get hold of it. Play it to your church. Play it to your people. It will really help you. I don't agree with everything he says, though. Uh, for those who are street preachers, uh, this is a wonderful DVD. Uh, go speak. Go stand speak. Some great guys on here. Uh... Uh, you you got some Paul Washer, you've got Pastor Al Martin, you've got some really, really good guys on here. Get hold of this, it will really help you, strengthen you as a street preacher. It's a must if you're doing street preaching. You need to listen to this regularly, at least once every six months, to keep you strong in the faith. So, my plea is, evangelicals are going all over the place. People are becoming weak in their theology. We're having... Uh, pastors that are not sound in the faith we, we've got apologists that are not sound in the faith but we love them they're doing a good job in some ways but they're not as solid as they should be new ideas about the bible about creation about the deity I, I give you another example how evangelicals are, 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 are weak uh, certain uh, 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 for example Matt Slick I love Matt Slick he's a great guy but he and some of the modern apologists have imbibed the canonic theory of Christ, the idea that Christ um, uh, came down to heaven and uh, veiled his knowledge. And that's dangerous. That's the canonic theory. He veiled his glory, but he didn't veil his knowledge. Okay. So modern evangelicals, uh, uh, apologists, have unwittingly imbibed the canonic theory of Christ. These are examples of people who I love, who are, who are supposed to be sound, who have imbibed things, because they're not really getting into the word as they should be and, and take, staying away from rationalism and being solid as they should. I don't like to say these things about people I love and admire. I, I, I love Matt, Matt Slick. He's done an amazing job. I love Mike Lacona. I love Gary Habermas. I love all these people. They're great people. They're doing great work. James White, great work. But they should stay sounder in their theology and, and be more discerning against rationalism and the not. So please earnestly contend for the faith, stand for the faith, be strong in the word, read the Puritans, read the Puritans, God bless you.